Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, today we will be installing the vented dipstick system from Otis Innovation. All right, so here are the installation instructions. I don't know how clear it is. You guys can pause it if you guys want. All right, so we're going to be installing that on the uh, John Deere 4066R, and I'll have a video as to why, or sorry, clip, um, on why I'm doing this installation. All right, stay tuned. And then we got to move this wifey mobile. see why I am changing this dipstick which obviously has no vent in it to uh, this guy over here the Otis innovation vented dipstick system so I'll show you the install on that um, the reason being is because I've been seeing some oil seepage. I don't know if you can see that right around the uh, steering knuckle to axle seal. I see that on uh, specifically this side but also a little bit on the other side. Just a little bit of weeping and just a little bit of moisture. As you can see this side's doing it too on both sides. So as I've been reading around and all kinds of stuff that these axles I don't see anywhere that this sucker is vented. Let's go underneath it here. I do not see any vents of any kind. That little hose right there, that's for the uh, coolant overflow and everything else. But yeah, these axles are not vented. So what I'm gonna do is vent this sucker. Really simple install instructions on this guy. So. Let's do that, make a quick little video of what I did and how I did it. And uh, yeah, let's do it to it. All right. This uh, lovely little dipstick here, as you can tell, is just a lovely plastic unit. So, wipe that sucker off. And the instructions say, you know, clean off the uh, bore here. Looks really good. Let's see if we actually have oil. Oh, it looks a little low. Huh. Let's see. Screw it in all the way. See if we have any oil that way. How much oil? Oh, we got a little bit. We got about half on the dipstick when you screw it down. So we still have some, thank God. So, this little guy, quite interesting, but not vented. Whereas the Otis Innovation... It's got a nice little uh, dipstick portion here. Let's see what you do. Dip it in. Barely got anything, I don't think. So what they say to do, you gotta oil this part, um, and then it already has a foam filter in here that they said. So even if your uh, hose pops off, you still have uh, a vented uh, little intake there. But that's just in case the hose pops off and you pop it back on at the end of the day or before it rains or anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna put a little oil ski on here. On my oil can. All right. A little, a little oil in there. Right around there. And they say finger tight is good enough. All right, that's pretty good and tight. We'll see how that works. All right, so. They say, hey, hey, it's done, all right. No, um, we have more vintage required. So, here's the hose, here's the uh, top of it. It's got a nice little uh, inlet hole there. So uh, this will be routed to here. They said uh, you do not need a hose or zip, zip you know, a clamp of any kind here. You can if you want to, and then, uh, let me see here if I can get this sucker off. Not too much trouble. All right. And they say you should vent or have this anywhere inside the engine compartment that you know allows for 
uh, if you go into water or anything or out of the way, out of the rain, and that you shouldn't wash this thing and directly inject water going up here. So, all right, so let me install this, get it cut to length, and I'll show you how it looks like. Alrighty, so here is the uh, little vent installed there. I left uh, no clamp on there, so if it does pull off, I can always reinstall it. And that'll go up and behind this uh, panel cover. So this is right next to there. I have it zip tied decently tight without snuffing the hose out. But uh, yeah, shouldn't cause any problems. Nice and neat installation. And uh, you can get it really uh, from uh, these guys, Otis Innovation. All right. So that was a quick and easy install, and hopefully the uh, little uh, stuff will go away. You know, all the weeping. It's much. Uh, this was about a hundred something dollars. I don't know how much uh, it'll be, but uh, I got it. And uh, right now, I think uh, it's way cheaper than trying to change seals for no reason, other than to change them. All right, we'll see if it fixes the problem. All right. Alrighty, I just wanted to show. Uh, the uh, hose installation with the side cover on there tucks away nice and neat goes underneath no rubbing no nothing I do have twig twigs and brush and stuff that I go through but it is protected by you know the front counterweight here so we'll see how uh, if any branches or anything knocks that off but there is a filter inside that dipstick cover so yeah hopefully uh, It'll last and be a good good product. Certainly looks like it. Nice billet uh, machined aluminum product. All right, I've cleaned off the uh, steering knuckle here, and we shall see if this sucker leaks again. Huh? Well, I'm hoping for uh, good news.